Hey guys, how's it going? It's Hyper Mario 24. I'm here finally today to bring you an official guide of Wario from me myself. <laughs> okay, before we get started, I just wanted to say that while I was doing my research of Wario, I was trying to look up some accurate stuff on what they changed from him, like his moves and his damage, and like how fast he can do, like frames and all that stuff. But from what the sites I was looking at, mostly like a Smash Wikipedia, some of it was a little bit off because I tried to test these things myself and well specifically the damage was off because I tried to, uh, the, to see if the damage was the same and some of them weren't. I mean some of the stuff I found I found on the website were accurate but uh, I, I just didn't trust it after seeing some of the things were false. And I did try looking at other sites but apparently since this game is just still new uh, people are still making guides of their own characters and stuff and trying to figure out what makes everyone tick. So I'm just going to do my best to explain you guys from my experiences from him and, and just try to, my best to like explain how to use him pretty well. Uh, use him very well, my bad. But uh, today, we're going to have Rosalina as our training sandbag since uh, there's not really a sandbag in this game for some reason, at least from what I've, from what I've seen. And so I just decided let Rosalina be in here because, you know, this, she's my girl. And I thought, you know, give her some spotlight. So thank you, Rosalina. So let's get started. All right, first off, I want to talk about how Wario runs. He runs super fast in this game. He he's, His speed has been dramatically um, improved. Like, uh, it's just, he can just run fast. You can tell by his legs. He moves faster. And now every fighter can do this now. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it helps you, like, uh, uh, just, like, trick your opponent. Like, you can do other stuff with it. You can jump. You can, like, just do other things. Do special moves and all that stuff. So, it's really great for psyching your opponent out by doing this. It may take a while to, like, master it, but if you play this game as much as I do, you'll get the hang of it in no time. And one more thing I want to talk about, his crawl. His crawl has been improved too. It, he moves a lot faster, specifically when he walks backwards. I'm sure Warrior players can notice this by how fast he can move now, backwards and forwards. So I'm guessing this is good too, if you want to like duck under projectiles and stuff. So that's a pretty good, cool thing. But all right, let's talk about his main arsenal. Uh, let's start with his one-two jab. His jab right here is still the one-two punch. But the difference in Ultimate is that it doesn't go like bop bop like like Smash 4 did when it connects the enemy. See, it goes like bop bop now. So it's not like as fast as before, but so it has a little bit of hit lag. But when you use it, it it's connects more reliably. Like even if their damage is high, it can it can that second hit will always connect. So it's pretty good. It's pretty fast. You can, like, knock people away from you, so it's a pretty good jab. I wouldn't rely on it too much since it's, it is kind of hard to hit. Its range is really, really short. So, like, you know, I would recommend using it only to surprise people if they're, like, running towards you. Since it does come out really fast. Like, kind of fast. It's not as fast as moveset, though, but, you know, we'll get into those in a little bit. Alright, now for his, let's talk about his uh, side tilt. Nice. Oh, <laughs> my bad. My bad, guys. I'm not used to tilting in this game yet because of the GameCube mode. But, all right, let's talk about his tilting. His tilt is the hand slap, and its damage is, like, 15%. Oh, I forgot about the damage, too. Okay. Well, yeah, his damage for his um forward tilt is 15%. It's really stronger than it was in Brawl. And, like, when you angle it, it, it's the same consistent damage. It always does 15. You can angle it low, middle, and high. And the thing about it is, though, once you hit it, no matter where you hit it, it doesn't have a sour spot. So it's like a... It's always a sweet hit. So that's a good another good thing about this move. Plus, it's fast, too. It's way faster than his, um, his forward, his forward uh, smash. So I would recommend trying to use this move as often as you can, especially while edge guarding, because it's great at edge guarding certain attacks. So his his side tilt is a is a nice addition. 
even though it's still weird to me, but I like it. it it's pretty cool. All right, now for his, uh, let's try his down tilt. His down tilt is 4%, and I think it's still the same as it was in old, uh, Smash 4. I'm not sure. It still juggles and all that stuff, but it, I think it also has a little bit of hit lag because every time when I'm trying to, like, um, when I try to hit and follow up with the grab, I don't know how I'm doing it now. Just when an intense fight, it's kind of hard to dash grab and do this now. But I don't know how I'm doing it now. <laughs> but in a fight, your opponent will press buttons really fast. And it almost will never connect. They'll mostly be dodging. So this move, I wouldn't recommend trying to dash grab. I would recommend just doing this and dash attack. Or just something else. and Or just keep poking at their feet and just get away. Just to like psych them out and stuff. So that's what I would recommend doing. But you can still try it. I mean, it's still possible. I've just had a hard time doing it online. But that's probably because I've been facing tough opponents. But okay, now for his up tilt. His up tilt is still the... I'm not sure what this move is called, but it comes out a lot faster now. As you can see. And it doesn't have as much knockback power as it did in Smash 4. But it's great for combos. So you can do this and possibly that. But if their damage is at low percent... You can possibly combo it to other attacks. So like so like this. And we can do this, do this, and this, and so on, so on and so forth. So you can just make your own combos with the up tilt. It can even you can even uh hit them on the ground like so. As long as, uh, well I'm trying to get it. See, if you're close enough, it can hit them off the ground, and you can just snag a combo. So I think the up tilt is great. I think it's been significantly improved. Even though it is not it's not a, a reliable KO option it's pretty good for combos so that's it is up till I think it's an improvement it's really good all right now let's talk about his smash attacks now his smash attacks I believe well two of them two of them still have the same hit lag as it did in smash 4 when you charge it it'll, it'll be pretty hard to like uh get, get out of that hit stun when you hit somebody See, I was trying to roll there, and it, it took a while for me to do it. Even this up smash, it takes a while to do it. So, But the only move that has significantly less cooldown is his uh, down smash. But it's not a great for killing option. But it's a little bit safer. But its cooldown is, has doesn't have that much cooldown. <laughs> it's been improved, but it's not, it's not like a fast move you could just repeatedly use kind of like mario's like down smash so i would only recommend using this to try and get the opponent off you if they're like or if they're like rolling too much just be careful because any of his smash attacks can still leave you wide open if you just blindly do smash attacks you'll you'll most likely get punished so be careful when you use them but his ups but his forward smash still has um this Significant power though. Its damage is 24 normally. It's a big improvement from F Smash 4. So what that's a pretty damaging move. If you if you want a good killing option, 4 Smash is your bet. Now his up smash now, it's 20 and I'm not sh and I think it's a big improvement on damage. And it's still it's still a, I think it has more a uh, knockout ability. I'm not sure though. But it still does great damage. And it's like... The thing about it is, it has a little bit more horizontal rage. See if I do this. See that? I was able to hit Rosalina. And I was I could never do that in Smash 4. So it's horizon his horizontal range is great. But his vertical range is still the same. He won't be able to like... um. He won't be able to like uh, get... Uh, opponents if they're like standing on a platform... See, there's a platform over here. I just, <laughs> I should probably move Rosalina over there. But, but like I'm saying, his, his up smash, is it has more, it has more range horizontally, but not vertically. So, be mindful of that if you're trying to hit opponent on a platform. But um, his, but his down smash, like I said, it's still the same. It has less cooldown. Like I only recommend it for like keeping people off you. So like just remember that. It's the only it's the only smash attack of his that has less cooldown, but 
all of his smash attack will still leave you wide open, so just remember that. Alright, let's talk about his aerials now. His aerials. Now, his forward aerial is still the kick, but I think it's a lot faster than it was in 4, but it still does the same damage, like 7%. So this move is great for like getting your opponent off you and juggling some combos like this. Well, I'm trying to do with this. And waft. Yeah, if you get them at if you get them at mid to low percentage, you can basically follow up with a combo if you got waft set up. So this move is great. Always use it to like keep opponents off you. It's also got really good range. Now his his neutral air is still this, but it's it's, I think it's damage has improved, and you can, it's, it's most effective for getting combos, because it has two hitboxes. It has one where he hits like this, and it has one where it hits him with his stomach. So if their damage is low, and if you manage to hit him twice with the neutral air, you can do combos like that. But I still haven't learned any good combos with Wario yet, so I'm sorry if I, if this seems a little lame. But just experiment with Warrior yourself and try to get as many combos as you can. Uh, try to make up combos on your own, I mean. <laughs> because this is it's great for it's great for combos. And it's also good for getting an opponent off you if you just want a fast, fast uh aerial attack. Because I think the neutral air is the fastest in his in the in his aerials. So always use this. And I also recommend short hop nearing because it's great. It, you can move. Warrior has great aerial mobility, so you can get opponents off you and try to get away. So I recommend using that. Now up smash. I mean, not up smash. Up air. Up air has significantly less knockback than it did in Smash 4. But the good thing about it is, it's great for getting combos. You can constantly use it like this. And <laughs> I'm not great at get, I'm like I said, I'm not good at getting combos. But it, I'm, I'm telling you, it's really great for getting more combos, if you just, if you just know how to juggle opponents in the air. And you can always confirm it into WAF if you get it right, of course. So up air, I think it's, it's, it's really a good improvement. So try to use up air more often. But remember that up air only attacks directly above Wario. It doesn't have any horizontal or vertical range. See like that? I tried to hit Rosalina. Okay, I was a little bit close, but. I tried it lowers Alina, but it can only hit Wario above him. So try to remember that. Let me get her out of here. <laughs> okay, so now two more moves to go. His back air and down air. Let's start with his back air. His back air has been significantly improved. It's one of his best improvements of his air attacks. His back air does uh, 12 damage, which I think is the, still the same attack power, but it's got great... It's got more great knockback than it did at Smash 4. And plus it comes out fast. Because like, like, see how fast I can do it? I can just do this. <laughs> I can just do it really flipping fast. And it's great. It's great for getting combos. And really like knocking your opponent out. So back air is another great move. Just make sure you time it right when you try to land it. When you're trying to do it consistently... Just make sure you time the landing right. Because if you don't time it right during the Warrior's animation, you'll start to flop. And it'll, you'll lag a little bit. So be careful when using it repeatedly. But alright, his down... Alright, time for his down air. His down air has been changed a bit. Well, mostly the animation. As he now looks like he's doing a little spin. Well, many people call it the ballerina spin. But yeah, it's been changed to that. And I think because of the spin, it, it kind of has more range now. And, like, I think its damage is still the same. It does a total about 12 damage. But it's still a great move for getting, like, combos, too. And it's also got great knockback, too. It's also a great move for killing. And it's great for, like, chasing your opponent off the stage. Like, if you want to, like, do this. Just to, like, get the opponent off the stage. If you want to, like, just immediately drop down and just do this try to knock the opponent back off the stage it's great for doing that though i've been having trouble with using it lately <laughs> but i'm still practicing with wario so mind me but you should definitely that's that's the best move you can use for wario just like using it to like uh knock opponent off the stage just trying to edge guard them you know 
And like um it's also great for like uh it's also it's also great for like eating your opponent's shield. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm sorry guys if I seem to be all over the place. This is like my first guide. I'm trying to do the best I can. But yeah, down aerial still a great move. I recommend using it. It has it has only like one less frame of end lag if I remember my research. So it can still leave you wide open. But hey, it's better than nothing. It's a little bit more faster now than it was in 4. So that's still great. Alright, now it's time for his throws. His forward throw, my gosh, is been significantly nerfed in then in ultimate because it does it has no killing power whatsoever. At least not at least while it's not at high percentage. Well, I mean, it can kill at high percentage, but you have to be really close to the edge for it to work. Because it's it's right it's its attack power is just lame. Well, not its attack power. It's it's um knockback. Its knockback is really really a downgrade. I still don't know why they nerfed it. Maybe it was too OP in Smash Four. I don't know. But I wouldn't. Re but uh, I still think it's the best option for like knocking people off the stage. Cause I think it's the only move, the only throw move that has more knockback. So. I would still recommend using it. So, his up smash, his up air, is still this, and I think it does less damage than it did in Smash Four because I think in Smash Four it did like eleven, and this and this damage it does nine. But it's great for combos too. You can immediately go into up air, and I think that's a true combo because I've never missed with the up air. And like you can also combo into other things like waft too. So as long as the opponent's not like pressing buttons or anything like that. So yeah, up up air is great. Back throw, not up air, back, up throw, my bad. Back air is still the same. I think it still has, I think it has more uh, damage than it did in Smash 4. Smash more back throw had 7 and uh, Smash uh, Ultimate has has 8 damage. So, it doesn't, but it still doesn't have much knockback. I think it still has the same. But it's great because if you're in like a free for all battle, it's great for knocking people off because Wario's invincible during this time. In fact, he's invincible during all his throws. In fact, if I could, sh let me show you a bit really quick. His invincibility. If it's green, that means no attack will hit. Like all all his throws have like a have like invincibility, so it's great. It's great to use his throws, especially in three for all free for alls. But okay, his um. Now for his down down air, which I just down down throw, which I just showed. It's still the pound, and I think it does significantly more damage. It's like, uh, thirteen percent. Yeah, that's a total damage is thirteen. Yeah, that's a lot of percent. So it's a great damaging move. So, I I think it's great for combos too, cause, but they they for your opponent they still bounce behind Wario for some reason. But I think it's great for like uh, getting the dash attack if you could do this. I wouldn't recommend it using it when they're high, when at high percentage though, because they can get out of it. So just use it for when they're only at low percentage, and you if you just want to get a good combo out of it. But all right, that's all his throws. Now it's time for his specials. Let's start with his neutral special, which is the famous chomp. Now this move has healing abilities. Like, and it does pretty good damage, too. Like, the full damage I can get, each each bite has three, and when Wario throws him out of his mouth, it has six. So, it, it's been giving more damage. And plus, it has great knockback ability, too. And plus, if you, if you chomp as much as you can, you'll heal a bunch of damage that's been accumulated to you. So, let me, let me try to put Wario at, like, um, 30%. Let's see how much he heals. Like, he, if the opponent isn't struggling, you can heal that much damage. It's pretty insane. But most of the time, they will be juggling, so you'll only heal, like, a tiny bit of damage. But still, I think it's a great addition to his chomp. And uh, another thing about his chomp, let me show you the knockback, because it's really, really powerful. Like, let's try 180. Because it does require a, a little bit of damage, but... 
you know, the knockback on this thing is incredible. It's way better than it was in Smash 4. See if I just keep chopping and chopping and BAM! She's dead. Look at that. That was so far. This chomp has significant uh, knockback. So I would recommend using it to like try to trick people if they're if they're shielding a lot. And I would also recommend trying to like uh, to edge guard. I would recommend doing this and try to surprise them. Because most likely they'll probably shield and you can try and kill them with the free chomp. So chomp is a great move to use. Always try to use it to surprise your opponents, especially if they're shielding. <laughs> Just don't hurt your finger while mashing. <laughs> Alright. Now let's talk about his bike. The one thing, the one move that I use all the time in Smash 4, but I've been having a little bit trouble adjusting to it because they did some they did one change to it that I'm still not used to. His bike still functions the, sh the same. It still does this. And like, I think it's easier to get a wheelie now. Because cause I don't know. Because when I've hit opponents like this, I've just been able to get free wheelies. Even when I hit them with the front of the bike. And the bike does significantly good damage too. So, it's a great move. The bike is still a great ascent asset for Wario. And plus, if you hit the bike with... With the opponent, it also has great knockback too. The two problems with this bike though is that it doesn't bounce like it did in Smash 4. Like, if I just throw it on the ground, it won't do a thing. Like, nothing happens when I try to bounce this bike. It has no bounce whatsoever. So, like, that's one big major issue. And another thing, see as I'm trying to summon my bike. That's another big problem that, I, that I've had with Wario, is that you can't summon the bike once it's been out. Even when you summon it on the ground and try summoning it in the air, it won't work. You have to wait, like, I think five to six seconds for the bike to come back. So, this this has been, like, uh, troubling me when I've been fighting online. Especially when I've been trying to recover and doing some crazy stunts. And it always throws me off. It always gets me killed. So, remember, once you use Wario's bike... You, you have to remember that until it's like completely gone, you won't be able to use it until 5 seconds. So remember that. And and it doesn't count even if it's still on the stage. You you got you got to wait 5 seconds until you can use it again. So remember that. It's very essential if you don't want to die and if you're suddenly off the stage. So that's but the bike is still a great move for Wario. It's still really great. And plus even if you hit people with uh with the bike, it still it's it still extends Wario's hitbox like this. It could still extend it, and you can possibly try to still uh, use the WAV to like get people off the stage. You can't like uh short hop the bike on the stage anymore as easy, but since the bike has no bounce, you could just drop it like this and possibly do a full waft if you have one set up. So that's another great thing that I learned from this game as I've continued to practice. So try to do that as best as you can, especially if you're fighting a tough opponent. Just 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 try. I know it'll be hard, but you know, it, it's still possible. So okay. I already showed off his waft. But um <laughs> I wish I could show off again, but I kinda have to wait a bit. But the thing about the waft, it still functions this functions the same as it did in Smash 4. And it still has super armor too. The game doesn't tell you that Wario has super armor when using this move though. And for some reason for other characters it tells you that some characters have super armor like King K. Rool's belly. But they don't they don't tell that for Wario for some reason. And I figured that may be a problem for those who think that Wario may not have super armor anymore. But trust me, he still does. In fact, um, let me try getting it back by eating some items. And I'll, and I'll show you if I can. How do you do it? Did so oh, I can't eat Pokeballs. Shoot. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Wire should be almost full. Hang on. Let's see. Let me try to get some barrels he can eat. Ah, delicious. Wow, he ate all those barrels. <laughs> yeah, another thing about Chomp. If you eat items with it and you're including your bike, 
it, it still it still charges his wall faster, so that's a good thing. All right, I got the wall set up. Let me try reset Rosalina's damage. All right, so his wall still has uh, super armor. In fact, let me get Rosalina to like attack me, and I'll show you. Like, watch this. See that? I took damage, but I was able to withstand it because of the full waft. So it still has super armor. Ouch! <laughs> so yeah, don't don't worry about Wario's uh, waft. It's still it's still a good move for withstanding attacks. So don't be afraid to use it if you got full waft and want to surprise an opponent with a deadly fart. <laughs> it's still a great KOing move. All right. Uh, now for his up special. This move. Uh, corkscrew. That's what it's called. Corkscrew. 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 I believe is a still a great move because it comes out really fast and it does some pretty good damage. It's also got great knockback too. But the thing I love most about it is is that people how I use it is when people are falling from the stage and they think they're safe. What I like to do is I like to look like a, that I can't hit them, but I use the up special to like surprise them, and it's and it's worked for me on on some occasions. So I would recommend try using this move. To like surprise opponents that are high up in the air, but they're about to land on the stage, because it's great. It like I said, it has great knockback, and it can catch your opponents off guard. Just make sure you don't spam it too often, like I do, because it'll leave you wide open still. But it's still a great uh, KOing move and like a get off me move too. So yeah, up special is still great. I love it. But okay, I think I think I've gotten through all the moves though. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I've pretty much gotten through all Wario's moves, guys. But since since we're talking about Wario, let me talk about a smash, a final smash, really quick, just for those that are just curious. All right, his smash attack is Wario Man, and it's basically he just beats the opponent up and just does a final fart on them, and it's a it's great, it's great for KOing. But the thing about the waft is. It, it looks like it goes far, but it doesn't reach full screen. Like, watch this. See that? It won't reach full screen. You gotta, like, at least be a little bit close to your opponent. But it can it can hit a lot of opponents, too. Like, mostly three. But you gotta remember to try to, like, stay a little bit... Um, make them... Make sure you're a little bit close to your opponent. Because, like... Because even if you hit an opponent, Wario still won't go far to the stage. He'll... Cause watch, see, he only hit two, but he wasn't able to hit the third one. So just keep that in mind when using Wario's uh, final smash. But it still goes pretty far, though. It's probably because the stage is huge. This is the training stage. But yeah, that's Wario's final smash. It's it's a great move. I kind of wish it wasn't changed because I love playing as Wario Man. But I love the cinematic final final smash. It's really really great. Alright, one more thing that I forgot to mention before I go. About Wario's Up Smash, it still has invincibility when you use it, but it's like you have to time it just right. See, if, if I slow myself down... Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hang on. Okay. Watch this. If I slow myself down, time it just right, he has very little short invincibility frames. So it's great. For like KO them, but he kind of he kind of uh, lags a bit when you when you let go and about to use it. So you just gotta have good timing. But it's great for like um, stopping attacks from hitting you with his headbutt. I wouldn't recommend using it too often because it is kind of hard to hit. But just just to let you guys know that if you're if you're the technical type. But um yeah guys, I think that's it for the Wario guide. I mean. I, I'll try, let me see if I can do some combos, I mean, <laughs> there's that, and like, you still do that, <laughs> and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I, I don't have any combos for Wario, I'm still learning, I'm still learning how this man works in Ultimate, which sucks. But yeah, that's it, that's it for the Wario guide. So, my final thoughts of him is, I think he's, I think he's an improvement from Smash 4, I really think he's great. I'm just, you just need to master how he moves and how he tilts and just how the mechanics works in this game because especially this, how he moves because 
every character can move on point like this now, and it can throw some people off, especially those who are new to this game. But other than that, Wario moves fairly the same as he did in Smash 4, just with a little bit more aerial mobility because he moves really fast in the air. It's, it's pretty neat. But yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Just like, um, if you want one more tip from me, um, just be patient with Wario, especially if you're finding really tough opponents have projectile abilities and are like long range because Wario can kind of suffer with, from people, projectiles, and long range fighters. Well, not so much long range fighters. Well, just if, if you let them get near you, if you try to let them come to you, then you might have an advantage. You can try and trick them to like just get near you. And just with Mario, Wario's movement and all that, you can try like just confuse the flip out of them by how fast Wario moves. It's really great. Oh my gosh, guys. I, I'm i so dumb. I'm so sorry. I forgot to talk about Wario's dash attack. I am so stupid. I'm really stupid. Wario's dash attack is flipping amazing. It has great knockback. It comes out fast. And he just looks so flipping cool in it. I mean, let me let me stop for a minute. Let me go into uh, slow motion. No, 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 not slow motion. Yeah, yeah, slow motion, my bad. Yeah, let me go into slow motion. It's flipping great, because look how awesome he looks in that pose. I just love that face. The only, the only thing is, he doesn't have super armor during this dash attack, which kind of sucks. I don't know why he doesn't have super armor, but it's, a, it's still a great move for KOing. It's got really good KO potential. Just warning, do not spam it a lot because it will leave you wide open, especially if the opponent shields, and you'll be punished for it. So don't don't abuse the shoulder bash because it's it's a really reliable KO move, but only use it when you know you'll hit and try to psych the opponent out like this. Just do a lot of stuff and just bam, just hit them. Because if they're like a high percentage, they'll probably panic and just like go for this. But I, would, but I would recommend trying to go for at least grab at least. Because most likely they will be shielding. And you don't want to get punished for that. Especially if you feel like you're about to die with high percentage. But alright guys. I think that's finally it. And I want to thank you guys for sticking with this guide. I know I, I sound like I've been all over the place. But tell me in the comment section what you think about Wario. And if you have any tips for me. And anything I missed about Wario, please let me know because this is my first guide. I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I was all over the place. I was trying to stay in like one section of Wario, like his aerials and his like neutral uh, air and attacks. But I, I hope this helps. And again, if you have any more questions about Wario, please let me know. Just please let me know. And and like um, just just have just try your best. Just learning him because he he's still a great character. I think he's still great. He just you just need to learn you just need to adjust how he moves in this game, which he moves flipping great. But that's the part that was that's just been throwing me off about him. But yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. I know I'm just I know I'm rambling, so I'm just gonna stop right now. But uh, before I go, I want to thank a lot of you guys for like showing support for my last video because. Holy shoot, I don't know what I did, but apparently uh, a lot of you guys really flipping liked it. I don't know why, but my my subscriber uh my subscriber numbers like went up significantly. And like I don't know what the flip was going on. I was like freaking out. I was like, why are there so many people <laughs> subscribing? <laughs> I'm I'm freaking out here. But like I'm also happy too. I was like, I want to say thank you guys. I I appreciate it. I hope I hope I continue to be better as time goes by, and I hope I can do more videos like this and help you guys out. Not just Ultimate, but also do more like gameplay videos too, because I still want to do most of that. And also, I want to thank, I want to say uh, uh, a Merry Christmas to you guys, because I was trying to get this out before Christmas, because I know everybody's going to be spending time with their families, myself included. But yeah, uh, that's it for me. I'm going to stop. I'll probably see you guys sometime next year. Just to like, um, because New Year's New Year's Eve is so close. It's like, because the month's almost over. I mean, geez louise. But again, thank you guys for watching. And thank you, thank you to all those new subscribers who subscribed to me. I hope I won't let you down in future videos. But, and it, I, hope, I hope this video helps. And until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic...
fantastic Merry Christmas. And I hope to see you guys in the next video, which will probably come out sometime next year. I don't know. But stay safe, guys. And as always, peace.